Membrane switches are typically printed on PET or ITO, unlike mechanical switches that are made from copper and plastic. The switches are designed as user equipment interface utilities that are able to communicate commands from users to electronic devices. They service a number of industries. These industries include medical interface, medical disposable, industrial, dental, lab, military, and agricultural. Membrane switches also have various benefits. The ease of cleaning, sealing ability, and low profile of membrane switches allows for them to be used with other control systems like touchscreens, keyboards, and lighting. There are three ways that the membrane switches can be lit. LEDs are not good for backlighting a panel because it creates bright spots, but it can illuminate the indicator lights on a membrane switch. They can be mounted to a circuit layer or placed on separate LED layers. Optical fiber is woven fiber optic cloth that forms a light emitting area that can be paired with one or more LED lights. They aren't affected by extremes in humidity or temperatures. EL lamps are cheaper than fiber optics and have a half-life of 3,000 to 8,000 hours. Their illuminating color depends on the phosphors used. Membrane switches are also submersible in water. One major cause of membrane switches failing is improper sealing of switch layers. The top layer of membrane switches contains the graphic interface that helps the user communicate with the machine. The underlying layers are circuitries that are typically created using screen printing. For more videos like this, visit medicaldesignandoutsourcing.com.